John Dryden, a nutrition graduate student here at the University of Central Oklahoma. For the past several years, there's been a growing trend to increase protein intake in athletes. Now, you'll find this trend in grocery stores and health food stores around the country, but does in drinking a protein shake after working out really help an athlete in performance and endurance? Well, fact or fiction, let's find it out. We're here with Megan, who is a graduate assistant, a personal trainer, and a group exercise coach here at the Wellness Center at UCO. So I want to ask her what she's heard about protein shakes from the people that actually work out. All right, um, I've heard a lot about protein shakes in the media, and I've, what I've heard are good and bad things. I have heard that they're really good for you, no matter if you know what's in them or not. I believe that sometimes they're just trying to sell you a product, and then I also believe that there are some good, efficient products without artificial flavors, um, et cetera, in them. There are actually numerous research studies that prove eating after working out does improve your performance. Now the question is, really, what should you be eating? Is a protein shake appropriate, or do you need something else? Well, let's talk about that a little bit more. A protein shake is not just protein. It's usually some sort of carbohydrate and a protein, which has been shown to be really good for athletes. Now, the catch is how much of a protein shake you're supposed to eat. Little 20 ounce bottle, well, it's not so little when you actually look at the calories as compared to something smaller, say a 12 ounce smoothie. So, size plays an important part in a post workout snack. Now, here's a good recipe for a basic smoothie for anyone who wants something after they work out. Start with a half a cup of milk. Uh, low fat is better since we don't need the extra fat, but still want all the calcium and vitamin D. It's about three ounces of a good Greek yogurt. Pick one you like. You can choose any flavor you want. That's the beauty of this recipe. This is the basic one, but you can change it however you prefer. About four frozen strawberries. I like the frozen because they add a little bit of texture to the finished smoothie. Half a banana, and the banana tends to help with the uh, texture of it as well. But you don't have to put the banana in there if you're allergic or just don't want it and simply a half a scoop of protein powder. And you can also switch this out for something like peanuts or Nutella to make a chocolate banana smoothie. That would be really delicious. But start with these and then play and see what you enjoy. I hope this... So I hope this video has helped you make an informed decision about whether or not you should have a protein shake after working out and what kind of shake would be appropriate for you. Final point is Keep it small, keep it simple, and make it something you enjoy, and it will help you in the long run perform better and be a better athlete. Thank you.